Hello everybody, my name is Jenny Atkinson, also known as Trends Australia, and I'm here today to do some voice videos for you out there in YouTube land, as promised. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to see um, how you baseline your um, your voice, your current voice that you've got, um, and then we'll look at working on some techniques to raise your voice, um, and later on in subsequent modules after this, we'll be looking at taking the voice from your natural pitch down as well so that it can become habit and it can become your voice. Um, but first of all we're looking at raising the voice and this will primarily be of interest I guess to um, people who are going from male to female. Um, please remember the warnings that are very important with these videos. Um, if you ever feel any tightness or anything wrong with your voice then please stop immediately otherwise you can permanently damage your voice. Um, so okay let's get into it. The first bit is to baseline your voice using the WASP program that I described in some of the earlier videos. Okay good luck and this is how it works. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light. It was the season of darkness. Okay, everybody out there in YouTube land. So this is the technique that I use to raise my pitch. Um, and you don't need to be a singer to be able to do this, okay? So what you do is, for example, in the previous, the baseline voice thing that you saw earlier, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I can't really remember my old voice, but that's sort of lower anyway, so more typically male sort of voice. It was the best of times. So if I was to talk down at this sort of level to um, sort of emulate how my male voice might have been beforehand, before I transitioned 23 years ago, and I have no idea why there's a slight American accent creeping in there. Um, if I sing a few notes around here, and you don't need to be a singer to do this, La 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 So I can feel that's my if you like my natural male speaking voice um, So I can feel some resonance and I can feel some vibration on my chest when I talk down here because a lot of the sound is coming from the chest area which is very common with a deeper male voice so if I sing la 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 I can feel I've gone up a third there la 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 it doesn't matter if you can't sing in tune not a problem but what we do now is we turn this feel you can feel where that noise la is being made in your throat and there's less of the resonance here in the chest so I will now speak at this sort of frequency so I've come up from la down here where I was talking before la 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 to here where I can now speak around this sort of pitch and obviously I'm not singing now I am speaking at this sort of pitch so once you've 
manage to raise your pitch up, maybe go a third if you're not experiencing any discomfort or anything like that. And there is a lot of practice involved in this. This does not happen overnight. You will take a month maybe to raise it a third, maybe two months, maybe three months. And then if I go from here, la, so I started down here, la, 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 la. Now I can feel that it's more up in my throat. I'm not getting any sort of resonance down here now. The aim is to get rid of the resonance in the chest area because that is a real marker for a male voice. So now I'm speaking up here. I think this is actually a little higher than the voice that I actually use today, which is around about 160 hertz. But you can hear now that I, I'm not getting any, I can feel there's no resonance in the chest area. I can feel that the voice is being formed at the back of my throat here. If I put my fingers on my throat, I can feel that my throat is vibrating and there is no vibration here, no resonance in my chest. So that's essentially the process. But what you do is you go from the lower pitch up a third and then you get used to that. And because it's, it's about training the muscles, it's about training the muscles and the way that you habitually use this. So even though when you wake up in the morning, you will naturally go back to your old voice, just practice a few bits in the morning just to raise it up. And then every day, and when you're out there um, interacting with people, use the higher voice. But if you experience any tightness or pain or anything like that, stop immediately. Essentially, that is the technique. Um, and just by using it a lot and just by practicing a lot, it will become habit. It will become your voice. After you've uh, raised it, raised your voice up a third and you're comfortable with it. Use the WASP program again like we did before in this exercise to analyze your voice and you will see that the pitch has gone up. Um, this will give you a tracking of your voice over time. If you go too high, la, 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 your voice will start sounding very high and it'll start sounding not natural. There are some other exercises that we'll do in lesson four. La la la. Now I'm speaking all the way up here and this is a very very high voice and if I was to speak like this on the street, if I was to speak like this when talking to people, it wouldn't sound very natural. Um, you're going for a naturalness of pitch. If you end up going up into a falsetto range, la la la, la la la, now up here speaking like this is really really high and really really hard and it's not natural and it doesn't sound right and it's beginning to break as well because this isn't good for my voice so don't go too high just go around if you can get into the 160 180 hertz sort of area 180 160 if you can go higher than that good on you um uh yes have fun with it don't go too high though it just doesn't sound right Good luck with your exercises, everybody.